What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here. And 200 subscribers. Sweet Christ on a bike. I tell you what, that was quite possibly the most Southern thing I've said in a very long time. We're moving on. Anyway, thank y'all so, so very much for the 200 subscriber milestone. Um, I know it may not seem like a much of a level for a lot of y'all, and I can already hear some Lloyds out there being like, oh, Boogie Nights is pandering for more subscribers and more views and blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, Lloyd, do you even know how to spell the word pander? Secondly, when have I ever pandered to anything? Seriously, I have didn't even expect to <clears throat> crack 100 subscribers, let alone 200 subscribers, let alone 205 as I'm recording this. It's a whirlwind, and I am absolutely grateful for all of y'all, for those that have been with me since the inception of the project, to those that have just joined me along the way, and everybody who has come, stayed, came and left, left constructive feedback, left positive and encouraging feedback, to those that have left trollish or even hateful comments. It's really shaped me as a creator and helping shape me as an individual. Um, and of course, before I go any further, I would be incredibly remiss if I didn't thank my incredible patron cabal, who have gone out of their way to help invest in the future of the project. Um, I will actually have their names flying across the screen as I continue, because I want to give them the shout out and give them the love they've been showing me. And I'll talk about Patreon in just a little bit. Um, I know for those that have been watching the project for a very long time, uh, it has taken more twists and turns than a backcountry road in the state of Virginia. Um, and I will go into that in a little bit. Uh, but for those that are just kind of wondering what's this entry completely about, I'm going to talk a little bit about where the project came from to where I am now, um, answer a couple of questions that I have been asked every now and then. I will be moving on to a very, very special uh, event, uh, Roast Boogie Night. And then I'll be ending with a giveaway. So stay tuned, watch the whole thing, because this is not going to be in any particular order, because that's how I roll. Because, as always, I'm shooting from the hip. <clears throat> I mean, so I don't even know really know where to begin with the project. It started solely with movie reviews, with just my phone set up on my coffee table and me recording a 15-20 minute litany on whatever movie I had watched at the time. Um, started out with my buddy Greg, who our, kind of our friendship has kind of gone the way of the dodo. He moved away, got married, blah, 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 blah. But I still wanted to do movie reviews because I was I like going into movies that people don't really talk about. And through that, I actually had met a really good group of people that basically were the founders of my Discord. Um, we just started as five or six randos that became legitimately super good friends, and it just expanded upon that. And if it wasn't for Lady Lilia, I wouldn't have met these individuals, nor had the courage to push myself as a creator. So, Lilia, I don't think you're going to watch this, but in the off chance you are, thank you for introducing me to such an amazing group of people. Um, and obviously the movie reviews, let me just be honest, a 15-20 minute movie review solo takes me about two hours to record. Because I tried to get it all done in one sitting because I wasn't editing at the time. It got to be kind of a hassle. So in an effort to be more consistent, I started doing Let's Plays on top of that. And it went from being a very, very inconsistent shooting from the hip whenever I had the time to, in 2019, I started doing two days a week. And now here in 2020, I'm doing three uploads per week. Um, sometimes four, sometimes five, including my Patreon uploads, because those go up on Saturdays, sometimes Sundays. Sorry, Cabal. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's kind of the way it's going. And I've also gone from doing movie reviews to um, gameplays to uh, pr creator promo stuff to podcasts, known as, formerly known as the Who's Your Creator and What Are the New Podcasts, to more in-depth um, social and mental health kind of central things called Let's Talk About, now known as interludes. Like I said, it's been a very long journey, and it's been very, very transformative for me. Um, I went from this very, I wouldn't say arrogant per se, but a guy with big hopes, big goals, big dreams, 
and just kind of throwing everything at the wall, confident in his technique to do movie reviews and let's plays to the six foot five emotional mess that you see sitting here before you. Um, and here's the thing too. Um, I love doing all of this. I really do because I feel like a as a gamer, um, I tend to focus more on the indie titles and the off under the radar games because. A, I've never really been a massive fan of the big AAA titles. That's never really been my thing. But from that, I have met some incredible developers and companies and teams. And one of my closest developer friendships is Christoph Frey. And on sheer luck of the draw, we became really good friends. And he's also the sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. Now, neither of us are getting any kind of income from the sponsorship, but I feel like out of all the developers that I have met along the journey, he's the one that deserves the most recognition. That's why I always try to shout him out in some form or fashion uh, during the course of my videos. <clears throat> now, I know for also long-term viewers of the project, um, 20... 18, 29, and 2019, um, I've often talked about were the worst years of my life. I was going through absolute hell for the latter half of 2018 and pretty much the first half of 2019. Um, that's kind of partly why I stopped streaming along with other things, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. But... Along the way, like I said, it's been very transformative about what I want to do. And it's gone from me just throwing whatever I wanted at the wall, seeing it'll stick, to trying to find what I enjoy. Because I don't expect to win any awards. I don't expect to get any recognition. And actually something that Connor had said in one of our conversations, shout out to Connor, um... I may not have a large core of viewers, but those that do watch, like, leave feedback are genuine. Not, and I mean, of course, I've gotten a few people being like, first, or hey, bro, watch my channel. I still don't know what that na the name to that voice is. We'll get to that. Um, but I really do appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten along the way, and so many relationships that I've made along the way. And some of them have come and stayed, some of them have came, come and left. And a few of them have come, gone, and come back twice as strong. And I'm incredibly grateful for those people. Um, it, it's really been helpful. And honestly, like I said, I still am kind of throwing stuff at the wall, but on a much less random scale. So with that being said, I want to answer a couple of questions that people have been asking. Um, the first one is... When am I going to return to streaming? And the reality is, I don't know. Um, starting with the technical things, obviously I have harped on my internet being a complete piece of crap, and more so I have harped on the fact that my computer is garbage. Um, I've had it for like six years now, and it crashes constantly. It's got all sorts of freezing issues, graphics issues, bad running things, and I can't afford to get a new one just yet. So, that's the technical side of things. Um, but the more, I guess, reality-based answer of why I can't do it is because, well, my schedule. I talked about being consistent with my YouTube videos, and consistency is something that I really strive to achieve. It's actually something that Sinvicta had talked about during one of our old excuse me, uh, who's your creator, one of the do streams where he talked about consistency is key for anything. Not just for getting picked up by the algorithm, which I never think I'm going to, but being consistent is to be get picked up by people who watch your stuff. And my schedule with work, as y'all know, is already pretty crazy as is. I probably average nine to 10 hours a day, five to seven days a week. And that number is going to go up as this thing, um, as the Game Grumps like to call it, the Backstreet Boys uh, tour starts to de-escalate whenever, whenever that actually is going to happen. Who knows? They're still kind of doing their world tour. Um, but in all fairness, if my schedule is all over the place, I can't be in good conscience saying I'm going to stream on such and such days. It's just not right. I don't want to do wrong by y'all, those that want to see me stream. So 
until the technical aspects are fixed and more importantly until my job settles down I can't in good conscience actually have a streaming schedule when will that happen I couldn't tell you probably not gonna happen until 2021 uh, next question on a more lighthearted note, and this is actually something I think Connor asked me, but a few others have asked me. Who is Lloyd? Um, I know I've been doing the Lloyd voice probably for the majority of 2020 up to par. Lloyd is... I'm not throwing shade at anyone. More specifically, I'm not throwing shade at Lloyd D, um, a bloke that I have met along the way. Awesome dude. Hilarious. King of... Not really King of Dad jokes, but more like the Earl of Dad jokes. Um... Lloyd is just kind of a pompous name that I came up with because the voice is usually of that elitist kind of downturn, thumb your nose at somebody. That wasn't my thumb. That was my index finger. Thumbing your nose at somebody and constantly critiquing kind of a combination of the bats, backseat gamer slash I know more than you do in any kind of form of life. Um, I just wanted to give it a name and I couldn't think of anything. So Lloyd was the first name that popped in my head. Um, so there is that. Um, and then the final question is the future of the Boogie Night Project. Obviously, I'm going to continue trying to do uploads three to days a week. Four days a week, including my Patreon uploads. Um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the regular uploads. And Saturdays for Patreon. Um, if other things pop up, like a collaboration, um, or an interlude video, or a promo video, or maybe something more of through the pages. Yeah, those will go up on random days or maybe I'll, you know, tweak it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and keep that as much as I can, even if it means recording a backlog on my days off so I can get those videos up and running. I don't like having a backlog, but if it means keeping consistent, yeah, I'll continue to do that. Um, so that's kind of the way things are. Streaming, like I said, I have no earthly idea. Um, I would love to be able to say what days I'm uploading certain things, like horror will be on Mondays, um, not horror will be on Wednesdays, Dark Souls will be on Fridays. But it really comes down to what I'm in the mood to record. Um, I can't just in good conscience once again say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to record Dark Souls on Friday, and I come home from work and I'm absolutely smoked, I'm in no mood for drift and die, and still come up with lore. Um, I know I haven't done a Dark Souls video in probably at least a month, and once again, there's been some things that I'm going through. Some of y'all know, some of you don't. Um, we'll leave it at that, um, but I don't know why I keep doing this. It's my chair. I feel like I'm just trying to focus on my face being dead center. I know, I'm my own worst critic. Shut up. Um, but... You know, it just really depends. Some days I'm really in the mood to do horror. Some days I'm in the mood to do an indie game. Some days I'm in the mood for doing uh, more of Survive the Blackout or what other game comes after that. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't tell you with that. So I'm still going to be shooting from the hip for that. But hopefully you all continue to enjoy what I'm doing and continue to leave the feedback because once again, it does help me. Um, so with that being said, um, let's talk about the giveaway. Do a little switch hit. Um, yeah, so the giveaway, it's probably not going to appeal to a lot of y'all, so this is going to be more aimed towards the horror crowd. So I talk a lot about Christoph Frey and a lot of his games, about how really awesome they are. They're low poly slash low res, and they're horror. And they're horror in the aspect that he gives you just enough detail for your mind to fill in the gaps. Uh, some of his titles include Letter to a Friend, Disconnected, Exposure, and a few others. But his most recent release is a game called The Space Between. <clears throat> it's currently available on Itch.io. Link is in the description below. So what I'm going to be doing for said giveaway is I'm going to be raffling off a free copy of The Space Between to one of y'all. Here are the parameters. Um, you need to obviously be following my video or my channel the project and somewhere between now and the end of this uh, video I'll be saying a random number for the raffle what you have to do is in the comments say what that number is and also tell me your favorite aspect of the horror genre whether it's a book whether it's a movie whether it's a game whether it's a magazine or 
graphic artist or let me know what it is and don't just say it's this like it's the gore it's the plot it's the atmosphere give me some detail as to how it impacts you um i will be picking my top five five there we go back of my hand my top five favorites out of everything and then i will be randomly picking one person out of that top five um and then i will let you guys know in one of my later videos who the raffle winner is. I'll also be posting it to my Twitter and my Discord. And then from there, I'll just need to get that person's email address and I will send them a free copy. Um, that's the giveaway. Stay tuned. Number is coming up at some point. So with that being said, we're going to wind this down with something amusing. I have asked my Discord to roast me. Mm-hmm. Um exclusively discord based shout out to the discord funk house um but i've also asked a few other people on twitter if they were interested in roasting me there's about two or three people um that i've asked because i trust them and i know they're gonna have some hilarity behind that so stay tuned and i will see y'all in just a little bit when we read the roasts together completely blind so with that i'll see you guys in a minute and we are back, y'all. And as you can see, I have my Discord pulled up. Also, shout out to some of the other amazing Discord people that I follow. Um, yeah, but we're not focusing on other servers. We're focusing on mine. Uh, scrolling down over here, you can see here at the very bottom, we have, of course, I have, of course, I have to have a sub channel dedicated to my nickname and high school jokes. But we have Open Smoker. This is the channel that I um, request people to roast me on. And as you can see, it is muted, so let's go in and see what's going on. Okay, so all the rules here, but first we got Silverleaf, my son from somebody else. Anyway, uh, you're the best F-dog I know, but there are times you look like Jeff the Killer in his late 80s. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Oh, man, Silverleaf is coming out with the big guns. Looking like Jeff the Killer in his late 80s. I never even thought about that. I mean, I know my voice has kind of gone to seed, but I would think more along the lines of Pinhead sounding like him, but looking like Jeff the Killer. I haven't played a Jeff the Killer game in a very long time. Oh, man. Oh, love you, Silverleaf. That was that was brilliant. Okay, who do we have next? We got Barefoot, one of the founding um, father figures of uh, the Discord, uh, my channel at least. You somehow managed to avoid that with the current beard, but on older photos of, but in older photos, your facial hair looks like you glued on, you glued old carpet remnants to your face to create a sort of semi-permanent napkin or flavor sponge. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's not far from the truth. When I had my depression beard years ago, it was pretty natty looking. A semi-permanent napkin or flavor sponge. Ladies, who wants a mustache ride? <laughs> that is good. That is good, Bear, but I'll give you that one. Okay, next one comes from Mayday. Uh, you and your funny-looking hat. That's This is the best I can do, seriously, even though I actually love the hat. Aw. It's okay, May. Love you. Um, <laughs> you and your funny-looking hat. You know... <laughs> The hat has been there through thick and thin. This hat's actually probably, I want to say, six years old now. Five or six years old. Yeah. Yeah, I've had this hat, yeah, since I, yeah, about five years now. Um, special thanks to everybody. Um, we've only had three on here. Wow, I mean, I posted this originally a week ago today. I, I know uh, there are some people that weren't um, able to, weren't interested in it, but that's why I pulled out backup. So let's go on over to Twitter. And, okay, that's Shell. We'll ignore, that's not, I didn't ask her to roast me. Um, clear this notification. Okay, first I asked um, Kim, also known, formerly known as Kimmick. Let's see what we have going on with her. Uh, I tried my best. Please don't hate me. You've got one of those unique faces where I can never tell whether you're confused, shocked, scared, or lonely. Didn't anybody give you the heads up that it's 2020 and that hat and goatee are so never mind. They were never in fashion. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was super excited when I heard you called yourself Boogie, only to find out it had nothing to do with boogieing down. To round things off, there are people that are kind and people that are too kind, and then there's you. Oh my god. <laughs> Kim, wow! You... You actually, that was great. <laughs> never mind, they were never in fashion. God damn, Kim! You coming out with both barrels. That, that's good. I, okay, Kim, that was, that was fantastic. Love you on that one. Um, okay, next one we got my boy Connor. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll consider this war. Here we go. Uh, well, what can I say about Knight? Well, it's funny because his nickname in high school was done to death about the same as that joke. At this point, I assume he has the wardrobe of a cartoon character as it never changes. You know, there is some truth to that. I really do. I know I wear black all the time and whatnot, but you know what? Black goes well with anything. Connor, you know, A for effort, B for execution... But you went back to the well, so I'm going to have to give you some marks out for that, too. <laughs> no, I really did enjoy that. Um, okay, so, uh, hang on a second. There we go. So, yeah, so uh, one second. I've got two more I'm going to go through, so I will be with y'all in a moment. Okay, now that we've cleared that out, we've got a couple of more roasts to get out of the way that I have to use my phone for. So, uh, the next one comes from author C.L. Dixon. Let's see what she has to say. Alright. Knight, I normally Google how to insult an awesome person slash YouTuber, but there was no need with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, we'll give you that one to see. Um, oh, man. Yeah, no. I mean, that, that was good. That was good, because I kind of put her as a Johnny on the spot. Um, kind of asked her probably, not even an hour ago, I asked her if she wanted to do this. So, um, yeah, I'll give her credit for that one. <laughs> it was well done, brief to the point. Uh, you're awesome, uh, Miss Dixon. I do appreciate that. Um, but for the end all, be all, of roasts, we are turning to my partner in crime, my partner in snark, my business partner, and one of my best friends, Ray. And for that, we're calling her. She does know that, I mean, I have asked her to roast me, um, so this is not like I'm putting her on the spot, so she knows. So with that being said, let's give her a call. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Not much. Just hanging out. Nice. Doing? Uh, well, I am recording, so if you are ready, Pat Benatar, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> the 80s cult. <laughs> they said, please don't reference us again. <laughs> Alright, um, so do you want me to just lay it on you, or what, like, how do you want me to do this? Whichever way you want. I mean, I'm recording right now, so just lay it on me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, let me think of the things I said so far. Um, this is why you uh, can't sleep. You're trying to come up with creative ideas. Well, now that I'm on the spot, it's actually really I'm nerve-wracking because I don't want to like mess up. But, um, <laughs> oh, hold on. Let, let's see. Um, Just think like we're roasting Kirk Cameron. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, so, yeah, so that picture you sent me of your of your your little half heart, you know, and your little your little monkey thumb. I can definitely tell you that's longer than your dick will ever be. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna do something relevant to the monkey thumb. I knew it. This is I had an idea that you were gonna do something about my monkey thumb in like correspondence with my Johnson. So. <laughs> A for creativity, C for execution, but you know what, still, I mean, that, that was well done. I'll give you credit for that. I mean, that thumb is longer than your IQ will ever be, so let's just face it. Oh, so you know, um, you're comparing me to boy. <laughs> to be fair, that thumb is longer than most people like you, so. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, well, you know, at least, yeah. with the size of my, at least with the size of my dick, it's not like they're on a hot dog down a hallway. 
I mean, the good thing about having monkey hands, though, is that you can toss shit around, but, I mean, you know, speaking of shit, I mean, I've heard of shit hitting the, the fan, but, I mean, your videos are something else, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it, it, honestly i can't wait till you watch this video when it's done because i, I think out of all of them you and kim absolutely freaking smoked it <laughs> i'm just still surprised they let sex offenders on youtube nowadays <laughs> i mean why not you had your ex-boyfriend in the background on several occasions oh. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll call you in a little while. I'm going to wrap up this video. Oh, okay. I don't get more? Okay, fine, whatever. I said whatever. limit the two rows, but you're never on my Discord, because I'm. but then again, I'm used to you ignoring me. Well, if you ever want more, just hit me up. <laughs> Baby, I'll hit you up whenever you want. Oh, God. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> And that wraps up the roast. That was that was priceless. Um, a big thank you to everybody who um, roasted me. I absolutely love that. Um, now you also get to see what the whole back and forth with me and Ray is like if you haven't watched any of our videos. But thank you guys so much for everything. And then before I proceed into the final bit, the random number to include in the raffle, if you have to include this in with your reasoning to be in the running for a free copy of The Space Between, the number is 86. 86. So be sure to include that somewhere in your comment. Um, so yeah, so with that being said, 200 subscribers. It's incredible. It's been a wild ride. Uh, some good, some bad, uh, but overall, very enjoyable and i couldn't have done this without y'all so from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so very much thank you to christoph for being my sponsor thank you to my incredible patron cabal and just thank you to everybody who's been a part of this journey it really means the world to me so with that being said i hope y'all have a fantastic night and i will catch y'all on the flip side all right peace